So, <clears throat> I've been looking at, in this guy's page, as, as well as other people. Um, and uh, he came up with this particular circuit, which still uses the uh, switch. And he just glued in an electric element. And then put in a 102 across that, and then this resistor, like a 3.3K or something, or whatever that is, 3.3. And literally, that's almost all you have to do. Um, 403, one, yeah. I'm not exactly sure how he has these on there and why that resistor is still down there. Because I, I didn't see it in the uh, schematic. Um... But anyway, so um, what I did was I went on Amazon and I, I looked around and I found uh, I found that there's different sizes of these. Um, I have these tomorrow, should anyway. Um, so you get ten of them for five bucks. There was a deal for some other ones. They're really similar, like twenty of them for six ninety nine. And I thought, well, I should probably get more because more is always better, right? But then I thought, well, well, what if they're not any good? Then I got 20 of them, uh, you know, what if they're just crap? So this had pretty good reviews, um, and right out the gate, like, one of the reviews was like, um, I put this in my ham radio stuff, blah, 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 something. Let me see if we could, uh, why is this thing doing this? Um, uh, um, use these to replace bad mic elements or audio grades and communication microphones, great sound quality, louder and cleaner than the original equipment, very smooth output, works great. Uh, these work well once you figure out the correct bias to put one in to replace a bad element in a, uh, I didn't say, connected oscilloscope and saw the audio was badly compressed. Had to change the current limiting resistor from 2.7K to 10K. And the audio was perfect. This was with a 3.6 volt bias voltage. So these have very low current capabilities to maintain linearity. Uh, good sound quality. Surprisingly good. Uh, excellent microphone. Uh, I used it to fix our apartment building intercom. Works well, works perfectly for a Ubitix 6 microphone, which is that little ham radio thing. I put these microphones in CCT cams and they sound great and pick up a lot. Let's see if there's more reviews. I thought there was more, and I saw another review about somebody using uh, them in something else. Um... I used these to replace the condensers in a Bofang and ICOM handheld mics. They sounded like... Uh, I used these in replacing condensers in Bofang and ICOM handheld mics that sounded like you were talking in a five-gallon bucket. These are louder, clearer than stock condensers. Just to note, these are 9 millimeter in diameter, which great worked great for the mics I had. Perfect fitment. So... I, I think these are um, well, probably going to be good. Uh, mm, sound a bit muddled, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise good. A bit too sensitive. So uh, I think one thing, too, um, with any of these, if you don't have the bias correctly, it's going to be funky. Um, I got these to replace the element microphones for three ham radios. Much easier than modifying the actual circuitry in the radio. Boosted the deviation up to where it's supposed to be. Uh, poor consistency. Um, what was he saying? Uh, four out of the ten microphones don't work at all. The rest vary wildly in sensitivity. The ones I actually got to work in a clap switch each require a different resistor value for a trigger on a clap sound. Um, most of the bad reviews on stuff like this are is user error. Uh, replace the stock elements in a Bofang and a Wotion external microphone. In both cases, these sound better. Uh, bought these for small projects. Uh, let's see, next page. Um, yeah. 
do not appear to be microphones, but look like Pseudo speakers, the type used in computers. Some of these people are so stupid. It's just like, um, wow. What did you order them for then if you didn't know what the hell they are? Obviously, they're microphones. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so that's all the reviews on that. So anyway, I ordered that. Um, let's go back over here to his page. Lovely ads. Go away. Um... There's also some other mods we can do to these microphones. Like, I'm going to try it later today. I'll, um, I'm going to uh, remove the, the resistor that goes across the input and, and see. And then, also, I'd rather have it uh, for the dynamics. Like, just like a straight-up Cobra microphone. I don't want any crap on it, you know? Like, um, now, a lot of radios, too, they have stuff in the radio's mic chain that does what we don't see in the microphone but okay so this guy put a Heil in here and HC4 I have an HC4 and it doesn't sound good but like I I don't usually share my opinion on Heil but I don't think Heil makes very good stuff I don't like anything that they have I've never had anything of theirs that I enjoyed and I've had a couple of things I have a, a few hand microphones or studio microphones with HC4s and 5s in them. And I, I put a 5 in one of these microphones and I wasn't real super impressed with it. It wasn't horrible, but the output was extremely low. Uh, this, to me, I think is absolutely stupid. So the guy puts the element in here. And now he's got this gigantic ugly hole. Well, not gigantic. Uh, and here's his circuit, which is fine. This is a good circuit. To run this kind of stuff. Um, I don't think that he did this though. Um, so you get 5 volts. 5 volt to the resistor. To the electric. And they have blocking capacitor. Uh, 0.33. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, I, mean, I guess maybe he did. Uh, anyway. That's how he did it. Yeah, like, freaking hole in it. You need to talk into the bottom of the microphone? No. I'm not going to. So, I think that's stupid. I won't do that. I'm not drilling holes in a microphone. In fact, I would just go buy another $20 microphone, you know, before I did all that. that to me, like, uh, let's see what's here. So... Now, on this radio, the microphone actually sounds good, and there is no EQ turned on. I, I checked it last night. I was like, oh, maybe I have the EQ on, you know? Um, but I don't. So, who do we got here? What is this circuit? Uh, here's a circuit here. It looks like he... Well, I like a lot of these guys have just, like, copied each other's things, I think. You know, um, you're like, well, I saw this one, I saw this one. And so, yeah, I'm not any different either. I'm looking at their stuff to figure out what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to copy their values to a T. Because, like, I would watch a video and somebody would say, hey, this is how you need to do this. And I'd go try it and I'm like, wow, that radio still sounds like crap. So, when stuff like this is kind of subjective, you know. Uh, to someone's taste. The guy on the radio last night said, funny, he said, taste is something in your mouth. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, um, let's see if we can pull up the schematic here then. What do we get? We get this. Um, I'm pretty sure you gotta put um the capacitor in between to block uh, i don't i don't know for sure but i'm not up on these but there's a field effect transistor in here and so i think if you would voltage here you don't have that there it'll go back up the mic chain uh, but this is 
you know, super simple stuff here. Um, but this is the actual, like, pinout of the microphone. So this is why yesterday when he was talking about, like, removing number one and two, so you see, like, number two goes to the ground part of everything, and number one is just for the fast button. So um, I also read somebody unhooking this wire and just leaving that wire on those other mics. Um, but here we can see this microphone has this one right here, the point three three in line, and I guess tone one and two, all it does is jump across it, which is interesting. So um, on position two, the capacitor is in line. So what we're just going to do is we'll remove this 680 ohm across it because, like, uh, I, I don't think we need it on there. Um, so, let's see what the, if I can just go to the next one. All right. Um, all right, so, yeah, all right. Next. All right. And then there's that. So let me see if I can make sense of what he did to this. So he removed those. He put these in a chain across here, maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. Um. It's really hard to tell what he did. And then this one, he has a 104, so that's going to be uh, that one. I, I, why did you stop rating stuff in nanofarads? <laughs> and I have to do the damn conversion, but at the 0 .01 or 0 .001 microfarad I guess right either way whatever the hell um, a 104 a 103 they're really common I just look at the number I don't even like think of the value I just see the number um, the uh, thing is going across the mic I'm not really sure what that's going to do um, okay, so it's gray, red, red. So that is 8.2. Okay, 8.2K. And uh, that sounds about right for what uh, the other guy was talking about. I had to go, all, he said, I had to go all the way from 2.2 to 10K. So uh, I'll use whatever I got on hand. I have a lot of stuff, but, you know, try different things. And I guess I could probably look at it in the oscilloscope too. Um, so, okay, so he's got these in parallel. So, um, and then the switch just switches between the two of them, okay. So, um, a one, a one microfarad and a 40, uh, 0.047 or something, or, yeah, something like that, uh, for the output. So, I mean, that's, what I'm going to do probably, you know, pretty close to it. Um, I, cause I'm pretty sure you, you can't run this without those. You can with the dynamic though. Those are blocking the DC voltage. So we'll go back over to here. Let me see if I can. Okay. So. So yeah, he has these going across the switch, and I guess he's just left that on the board, but it's somehow not hooked up. I don't know how that would be. Um, let's see here. Where's the switch? So the switch is right here. He's using that terminal and that terminal, I guess. And, yeah, anyway, we'll try something like that. Let's see if there's anything else here. More of the same. I 
I was also looking at other microphones on Amazon, and I found um, a bunch of stuff. Uh, move back on here, but um, I found some clones too. The HM36 microphones. Um, I didn't find any clones really for the HM219, the new like uh, one, but there's definitely some Kenwood ones out there, and. I think several of them would probably be worthy of modifying. Mm, come on. Okay. I am just going to research this and uh, let's see. Free shipping. Oh my goodness. This is my, my backup laptop and it's seriously driving me nuts. 60... Up. Um, is it? Eight, I don't like it when it shows them in this kind of order. Here they are. Twenty of these. So I think that maybe these might be good too. But unless you're gonna like, you know, God, this thing drives me nuts. Um, unless you're gonna look at doing a whole bunch of microphones, you know. Um, but the similar specs on these. So you get double for a dollar more, which is pretty good. Um, so, and these are really the only two choices that have good reviews. Uh, this one here has got pretty good reviews. So uh, outside of that, um, there are some other ones on here, but they are small. They're really, really small. And they might be good, but I think that you're better off to stick with these larger ones. Uh, let me unclick that and see if it changes my results. So you want to look for, avoid these 6 millimeter ones and stay around like 9 or 10 millimeter diameter. It's more of a standard type of thing. They have ones like that. Um, I don't know if they're any good. Um, so... There, that's about all you got on Amazon, really. I mean, for the most part. Yeah, there's a bunch more pages, but it's going to be mostly, like, other stuff. So. You get those two choices, really. I mean, you know, and if those aren't good, then you might want to try the smaller ones. So, what we'll do, we get, we're going to get the ones tomorrow, and then um, we'll take apart one of the microphones, um... And we'll swap the element. I'll probably uh, take one of the, uh, like the 450 microphone and use that one or something like that. Um, it's even possible I could just take an old CB microphone and repurpose it and just put an 8 pin on the end of it too. I mean, you know, there's lots of options. But what we want to do is just kind of find something that like works better than the hand mic and you know sounds good it doesn't need to be amazing we just want it to work better now i noticed yesterday operating portable that the amount of power i was getting out of the radio was much better with the new microphone so it is really um, a pretty bad microphone the uh stock one so anyway um i'll let you know guys uh, when i get the parts and uh we'll do some testing